Aloha. Hey, I'm in a condo and I found something that I wanted to show you. Got a couple light fixtures over here, lamps, and this one here, I don't know if you can see that or not. Look, it's all off. I guess I have to turn it off here. Jeez. Okay, now maybe you can see it. See? The base of it all came off. And I'm going to see if I can fix this. I'm not sure. I'd hate to have to replace this entire lamp or take the whole guts out just to fix this. And so, I've got to take this, this top bit off. See, i got to unscrew that. And I was having a hard time trying to unscrew that here. Good Lord! It's not coming. Well, you heard me say there's two ways. There's two ways to skin a cat. And when you got something, when you have something like that, see it's on an arm. Let's see if I can get you in there. It's on an arm. You just slide these things up out of the way. And then I can pull this whole thing off. Let's see if I can do it. Because I don't want to mess with this top thing anymore. I think I could just lift this up and then I press it together a little bit. And voila. See there? I just squeeze that together and this has like a like a, a flat bit on it, see? And then that fits in a groove and then this thing slides over it. So if your lamp is like that, maybe you can get it off after all. Just slip that up, push it together, and take that off. You see? See how some of them have? See that groove there? That's what, where you pinch it together, and then it kind of, boink, fits in there, and then that collar fits over that. You see this here? Look it. What's up with that? I'm going to have to unplug this and do a little surgery on it. I'll take you into my laboratory in a minute. Boy, see all these ribs? I thought maybe each one of those had an area to slip in there, or maybe I could kind of push that in there and smash it in. But upon further careful review, you got to look at things close. My word. I'm seeing on here... See right there? There's two little nibs right there. And on the other side, there's two more. See right there? And then when I look on the inside of this, I'm looking and I see them. Right? Let's see if I can't zoom that in. See where they are right there see those little two little things right there those are different than everywhere else and then there's two on this side right there and those are going to coincide with these there's those two little ones there and these two little ones there so I think boy, it's gonna be that easy to set this up in there and see about where where it should go All right okay All right like that okay ah those don't don't seem to be lined up this might have to be flipped around this way let's just see to there. I think they would line up here. Those there. Ah. Okay. I'm going to have to make sure everything's lined up just right. I'm going to have to get it at it at a different angle here. See what I can do. 
Ah, so, said the blind man. <laughs> I was feeling the wrong ones over here further. Right there. Because everywhere along here I can feel little edges. But there's two definite catches. And it's straight across from this one. So I was looking over too far. Because these are straight across from each other. I believe. Uh, let's see here. That's there. Yeah, see, those two are straight across. So, I think I can get it. I just have to have it lined up right, you know? Well, I guess I can look on the outside of that, too, and see where they are. Because those are the two, okay? Because I want to... I want to line them up properly, you know. Man. Okay. Now see it's in, but it's loose just a little bit. I don't think I have it lined up exact. I just have to keep playing with it here for a minute. It's still a little wobbly. And what I could do is take my pliers and just kind of tweak this in, or maybe just with my thumb. Just push it in a little bit, huh? You know, so it's, so it's fitting on there better. done it by Joe. False alarm. Now I'm gonna have to get this out into the light. Take it out into daylight because these little prongs I think one of them was kind of mashed down so it wasn't fitting tight so I'm just gonna take my scratch all and I'll have to find out exactly where it is and I can take this and I can push these in just a hair so that they're cl they'll clip exactly where the adjoining little marks are, okay? Look at it close. You can do it. I can't believe what I just saw. <laughs> Remember I showed you the two little nibs. I hope that you saw those on this video. You know, the little nibs, there was two on this side, two on this side. When I lined it up with the ones on the actual uh, light bulb holder, um, or the sleeve that goes into the holder, the sleeve had nibs. They didn't line up, and I'm thinking, what is this? So I went outside, I had more light, and I could see that either the manufacturer had pushed the wrong two little prongs on the outside of the holder on both sides. They weren't lining up. I think that's why it got loose over time, because you only had one tine on this side and two on the other side that were holding it. So I, I took my, my little uh, scratch all and I pushed one of these in because you can push all these you can push in but you only need to do the two that line up with this on both sides. Those you can't change. Okay, I pushed one in. Sure enough, it fit right down there like a glove. This is nice and sturdy now and I can still turn this Okay, I want to make sure you can keep turning that and it works. Now I'm ready to put that back in. And I didn't have to change out this entire thing. Next time you have an issue like that, check it out really close and maybe you can fix it. This should be fine now. Don't let something like that defeat you from thinking you have to go buy another lamp, okay? Make sure it works here. Alrighty. Are you kidding me? 
it's all fine that the um, the twizzles on the back side because this lamp the cord comes out on a definite side and I looked at the other light fixture and I should have been paying attention because I believe it should be out front because this is the front and so I've got this flipped all the way around I'm gonna have to kind of gently pull that out of those nibs and I've got to flip this around my loss is your game now did I just do that on purpose so that you could figure out that when you get to your lamp you're not going to do the same thing well I'll let you be the judge of that now here's a tip for you if you see the little holes and if one of them has been knocked off or something you can you can swivel this over to the next two holes or something and slide it over as long as you've got your your twizzle knob within this area at the front it could be it can be straight or it could be slightly askew off to the right if you had to flip that over and and make some new dimples so you know you can fix pretty much anything especially these types of light, light lamps and I've never really had to do one before until now but I got her okay so so I gotta squeeze this together you're not gonna see this part but I'll just have to line this up and squeeze it and fit it down in that notch and come on it go in there boy is it now is this gonna give me fits this might this might go just one direction Let's see no I'm having a, a little bit of an issue getting this in the groove here Man. how do things have to be so difficult sometimes you know you just can't figure it out sometimes there it goes okay slide the collars back line that up and and this can be twisted just a just a hair and this thing is on a swivel too to go front and back that's my pet peeve to have these these things lined up all the way you know okay i guess i got it fixed good as new and you did it yourself that's all I got for this time but I'll be back with more videos